Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. After receiving many questions and doubts with my previous Genshin Impact iPad Pro 2021 test results, I figured it would be best for me to conduct another test, make a full video, and provide more detailed information to help those who are on the fence of whether to pick up the recent iPad Pro 2021 version for Genshin Impact and future AAA mobile titles. As usual, I will go over FPS, GPU usage, power consumption, and device temperature at the end of this video. I'll also share my thoughts on what could potentially cause Genshin Impact performance issues for some iPad Pro owners. Thank you all for watching and see you at the end of this video. share the same cultural heritage, but the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail. Rebooting. Monstad welcomes you.
by royal decree. Go and fly!
will be mine. In conclusion, as I expected, this device averaged close to 60 FPS. I averaged 59.8 FPS after 12 minutes of testing. I didn't experience any significant frame drops during gameplay. However, I must note, results will vary. This iPad Pro is running this game at 1600p, while smartphones run this game at 720p to 800p resolution. Due to this device already being stressed, which you will soon see when looking at GPU usage, for those with ambient temps of 85 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, you might notice more frame drops as high temps causes the SOC to stress and work even more. I typically test all of my devices between 75 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Nevertheless, moving on to GPU, I averaged 81.7% GPU usage, which isn't as bad as before. The GPU usage did peak for a few seconds to 99%, but only for a short period. Once GPU usage hits the high 90s, this is when we experience throttling. The M1 chip is impressive to run a game like this at 1600p resolution with only 81% GPU usage. As for power consumption, this iPad Pro used 16 watts of power, which is pretty normal for a tablet undergoing this amount of hardware stress. Last, moving on to battery temps, I averaged 31 Celsius after 12 minutes of gaming. Again, I conducted this test with 77 degree Fahrenheit ambient temperature, so this is very impressive. As you can see, I peaked up to 33 Celsius during the end of this test. With all of this being said, I hope I was able to provide more information for those in doubt or with questions. Again, results will vary, but for those with ambient temperatures around 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius, you should experience similar results. Thanks again for watching, and if you've made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe notification button to see more content like this. 
I'll be doing some camera comparisons between the OnePlus 9 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the S21 Ultra, so definitely stay tuned for this. Please stay safe and see you next time.